Hello, my name is John Delph and I am the front of house engineer for Louis Tomlinson. I have also worked for Five Seconds of Summer, Lily Allen, The Script, Plan B and James Arthur and many, many other bands. Um, this is Edge Studios and Midas have asked me to do a video of some of the Midas equipment that we have here at the studio and that I use on tour as well. So let's go and have a look. One of the uh, Midas things that we have in the studio is the uh, XL48 mic preamps. Um, there's eight preamps. Uh, these are the gains. We have a high pass, low pass filter and a phantom power pad and phase reverse for each of the channels. And there's also a digital out on it, which you can set the uh, sample rate for and go straight into the computer. It uh, sounds lovely. One of the other things we have in the studio is the uh, Behringer XR18, which is a uh, digital mixer. And we use this for our headphone mixes. Um, we send in, at the moment, we're just sending in eight inputs into the, the mixer. Um, and the first two channels will be, say, we'll, we use these for drums. Then we'll have like bass channels going into here. Then maybe individual guitars, um, keyboards and vocals, and then a click track. You could obviously run um, 16 channels if you wanted. Um, these then go into the PowerPlay P16 via a Cat5 cable and each individual member of the band can do their own mix. This is one of the headphone mixers, the PowerPlay 16. Um, it runs from a Cat5 out of the Xair and um, it's got 16 channels as uh, uh, that you can choose to adjust for your headphones so you can have like a stereo group of drums and which you can set with the link button here um, you've got say we'd have that bass and then the guitars as I said earlier um, vocals and then uh, keyboards and a click um, individually you can then adjust the levels of the individual parts um, with this volume control you've also got a pan for any of those things so you could maybe pan your guitars um, in opposite sides um, you then also got EQ for that, which is bass, um, sweeple, mids and treble as a limiter and a, then an overall volume as well. And then you can also do that with the main and adjust that. Um, it's really handy and you can um, daisy chain all of the different mixes through to together and then everybody can still get an individual mix. We can then adjust the uh, mixes in the Behringer XR18 using the iPad app and we yeah so we've got different settings in here meters um, different snapshots and uh, effects that you can add into it as well and then adjusting the levels on the bottom uh, and then going through the different bus sends if you wanted to use that and to access all the elements of the mixer but the, currently we're just using it just for headphones so we're just sending into it got it set up on a default setting um, and then all the band members can decide to adjust the levels as as they wish one of the other things that I'm quite excited about that we now have at the studio is this little beauty. This is actually a very exciting new toy. Um, I've just bought this this week and that's the first time I've turned it on. Um, yeah, so you have the mute switches on here, um, pans, all of your group outs, mix outs, and your EQ section and the preamps at the top there. Um, this is a, a very unusual H3000 in the fact that it's only got 24 channels. Um, there is a sidecar that goes with it, which is a 16 channel sidecar, um, uh, but very, very rare. And uh, it's an amazing piece of kit. I absolutely love it. Doesn't it look beautiful? One of the other things we have here is the Midas XL3. Um, I bought it a couple of years ago um, to take it on tour with me and I took it out on tour with the Crystal Fighters and we did lots of festivals with it. And then I had an idea and I thought, oh, well, I wonder what it sounds like in the studio. So we brought it to the studio and did a recording using the XL3 straight to tape and it sounded really lovely, really warm, really nice. Um, the preamps were great. Um, I'll show you a little bit around the XL3. Um, it's a beautiful piece of kit. So the way I used the uh, XL3 to record to tape as we'd come in the channel and then we had all of these 16 uh, mix outs and we'd select the channel turn the, the mix out on it and then it would go into this master here and then out of here into the tape machine I'd run maybe the two kick channels of in and out into mix one and then send the snare top and bottom into mix two and then the hi-hats three toms overheads um, a bass channel which would be bass mic and bass di combined then individual guitars um, keyboards and uh, the vocals um, and just using these mix groups that's how we did it to tape and it sounded gorgeous also in the rack here we have the Clark Technic 
uh, DN360 graphic equaliser that I use uh, in the live situation. So this is for EQ in the PA. So all the, the left and right basically goes through this graphic. This is the live room that we have at Edge. Um, it's got a great natural acoustic to it and we had the whole band set up in here and we were running all the cables through into the room next door. You can see the door there on the left um, and that's where the um, XL3 is set and then we ran from the XL3 room into the main control room. I'll take you back in there in a sec. This was the room that we used for the XL3 and had all the channels coming in from the room on the right hand side of us where we are now um, coming into the XL3 then coming out of the XL3 back into the main control room and I'll just take you in there. This is the main control room at Edge Studios. As you can see I've got the H3000 set up in here just for now but because we're in isolation um, obviously I haven't got any bands coming in so I wanted to just test it out and hear it through my uh, PMC monitors. And here's the 24 track 2 inch tape machine that we used for the session. Not as easy to set up as Pro Tools, but uh, it sounds much better. So that's all the Midas gear that we have at the studio, and uh, I use most of this live as well. I'll just leave you to have a look at this beautiful thing once more, and thank you very much for watching, and uh, keep safe.